the two devices which we are going to talk about is a portable niv and a high flow nasal cannula in these both which is a fixed flow device so fixed flow device is high flow nasal cannula the portable niv you don't have the facility to control the fio2 why because whenever you have a portable niv you just connect oxygen either to the machine itself or you can put nasal prongs and over that you can put the niv mask which could that is the niv face mask so uh, which is a fixed flow device hfnc is a fixed flow device and portable niv is a variable flow device and with the high flows with, with which it gives you require a lot of uh, uh, oxygen to increase the fio2 so that is the reason in most of the times in covid patients hypoxia is the major problem and whenever you have hypoxemia as the major problem you need to give high oxygen support and at a controlled fio2 so that is the situation wherein hfnc is really advantages so what is hfnc so it is high flow nasal cannula so what are all the components so it has a flow generator so what is the work of this flow generator it can generate a gas flow of up to 60 liters per minute okay there are some machines which can generate even up to 80 liters per minute so that the uh, fisher and packel machine which is available in most of the centers generates 60 liters per minute along with which it has a, a air and oxygen blender so once you generate a flow of 60 liters you can mix oxygen in it or you can mix oxygen into that in a ratio based on the fio2 which you want for suppose you are giving 60 liters per minute of air in which you are giving 30 liters of oxygen so what will be the fio2 so no prizes for guessing it is 30 liters of oxygen in 60 liters of air so the fio2 will be approximately around 50% so <clears throat> you have a air oxygen blender wherein you can decide how much amount of fio2 you want to give so the machine on the machine you can directly control three to four variables one is a flow which could be between 60 to 80 liters based on the patient's requirement you can put either 60 or 80 and as the clinical condition is improving you can gradually come down on it then based on the patient's saturation you can increase the oxygen you can go up to an fio2 of 1 and then gradually come down and it has a inbuilt heated humidifier so the advantage of heated humidifier is it converts it heats the water converts it into moisture and adds it to the inspired air as a result of which the patient will not have any discomfort in spite of taking 60 liters per minute of air also because it is completely humidified so dryness will not be there nasal crusting will not be there and the comfort is very 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 good and what are the other parts you have a circuit through which the 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 air and the uh, the the air the the air along with the oxygen goes to the patient and finally you have a nasal cannula again this this is very very advantageous compared to hfnc uh, uh, niv because the mask keeping the mask is is a little uncomfortable it gives a kind of claustrophobia uh, you cannot eat with the mask so these are the various dis disadvantages with a niv which are easily overcome with a hfnc machine so these are the parts of a hfnc machine so what is the physiological basis so it gives air at high flows okay so the only difference between hfnc and niv is 
in niv you can vary you can give flows in different proportions like during inspiration you can increase the flow rate and during expiration you can decrease the flow rate that is called as the bipap wherein you in niv you have two things an epap and a ipap epap is the pressure which the machine gives during expiration ipap is the pressure which the machine gives during inspiration so whenever you are using niv it is a little more comfortable to the patient with the pressures wherein you can control the pressures but in hfnc the pressure is constant throughout the respiratory cycle so but the advantage is at the high flows of 60 liters per minute it can wash out carbon dioxide from the anatomical dead space as a result of which co2 retention doesn't happen to your patients uh, it overcomes resistance against the expiratory flow and creates a positive nasopharyngeal pressure causing increased functional residual capacity and helps in recruitment of the collapsed alveoli as a result of which your breathing becomes easier and your oxygenation improves and your patient's uh, lung compliance improves and patient's breathing mechanics improve uh the fio2 is always constant as i already told you because you have a oxygen uh, air blender with the help of which you can control the fio2 and as i clearly told you the gas is warmed to 37 degrees and completely humidified so the mucociliary function remains good and the patient's discomfort is extremely less so this is what i told you uh i'm not sure whether the slide is really clear so it causes humidification of inhaled gas wash out of the carbon dioxide from the upper airways high inspiratory air flow decreasing the nasal resistance positive airway pressure causing recruitment of the atelectric lung increased pressure causing decreased entrainment of ambient air so as a result of which your fio2 will be fixed so all of these result in comfort and tolerance to a patient then there is a decreased diaphragmatic injury decreased chance of ventilator induced lung injury compared to niv and improved oxygenation in fact the incidence of barrow trauma and pneumothorax and pneumomediastinum is much less with hfnc compared to niv so what are the indications for hfnc hypercapnic respiratory failure hypoxemic respiratory failure post extubation pre intubation oxygenation sleep apnea and pulmonary edema secondary to heart failure so i most of you might be thinking these are almost the indications for non invasive ventilation also you are absolutely correct so these are all the indications for uh, non invasive ventilation also but as i already told you hfnc scores over niv because it gives a humidified oxygen with a controlled fio2 which is not there with a portable niv contraindications poor gcs facial injuries or malformations unstable hemodynamics excessive secretions and when the patient has a respiratory arrest so when the patient has a respiratory arrest obviously you have to put intubate him and put him on a ventilator so indications and contraindications are almost the same for both hfnc and niv you will be uh, knowing about them in my next slides so again uh, i don't know my animation effect is not coming so these are the various uh, studies uh, done on hfnc thrive by uh, uh patel et al in 2015 florally uh, was a, a was published in uh, nejm uh, it was again uh, then again pre oxy flow uh, done by watch et al in 2015 and hfnc in hypoxemia in ed patients in 2015 and uh, so what are the inferences of each of these studies whenever you have normal lungs with difficult to intubate situation what will happen you may take a lot of time while intubating such patients so pre oxygenations pre oxygenating such patients with 
uh, HFLC will help you by increasing the apnea time. So the patient can tolerate hypoxia for a longer duration. If at all, you pre-oxygenate them with HFNC. Uh, then uh, Florelli et al. Uh, told that whenever uh, uh, you are using HFNC, the chance of intubating uh, patients with type 1 respiratory failure decreases and there is improved 90-day mortality. Pre-oxyflow is the only negative trial wherein abnormal lungs pre-oxygenation with HFNC did not make any difference, show any difference compared to oxygenating the patient with 15 liters per minute with face mask. And finally, uh, whenever you are using HFNC directly to hypoxemic patients who present to the ED, uh, it, it helps the patients in relieving the respiratory distress and discomfort. So the major advantages, like I already told you with HFNC is easy of usage. Instead of using your nasal prongs or an NRBM mask, you can directly use your HFNC in the ER. Of course, once the COVID uh, pandemic uh, is ceases, uh, how, uh, how many of your pneumonia patients require 30, 40 liters of oxygen at presentation? I'm not really sure, but I'm, I'm again unsure how how early this uh, pandemic ends or will you see a phase three? So it is better to have good acquaintance with HFNC machines because they are really, really, really an asset in managing your uh, COVID patients. So.